Well, it's 639, welcome back. Have you ever maybe wanted to determine how we may see some wet or dry snow, or maybe you've heard the KX Storm Team mentioning the term snow ratio? I have once in a while, but that's why in this week's Weather Wise, meteorologist Stone Schaefer is breaking that down for us. Stone? Yeah, so what is snow ratio? Well, snow ratio is usually seen as the percentage of water to snow. And on a typical uh, system, we look at a ratio at 10 to 1. That's sort of your average range. And what that tells us, we'll see 10 inches of snow for about 1 inch of water. Now, there have been studies recently uh, been done that have been showed uh, that the upper Midwest may be more represented uh, by a 12 to 1 ratio. So we sit normally in that 10 to 1 to 12 to 1 ratio when it comes to some of those snowfalls. And what determines snow ratio? Well, it's usually our temperatures. When we get to about 34 degrees, we have one inch of water. That means we'll get about five inches of snow. That's what we consider our wet snow. So the warmer the temperatures are, the wetter the snow will be. We talk about 30 degrees. You're looking at your typical ratio of 10 to 1. And again, that's at 10 inches of snow to one inch of water. And then at 18 degrees, you start to get a drier snow. So you're looking at 20 inches of snow for one inch of water. And again, giving us that dry, lighter snow. So we obviously had some wetter snow over the last couple of days with our temperatures sitting into those upper 20s and the lower 30s. And I want to take a look at generic examples of temperature uh, ranges to snow ratios. And again, there are other factors, but on the most generic scale, usually right around 32 to 30 degrees, you're sitting at a 10 to 1 ratio uh, to a 12 to 1 ratio. 29 to 25 degrees, you're sitting at 15 to 1. Uh, 24 to 18 degrees, 20 to 1. 17 to 20 degrees, 30 to 1. And then 11 to 5 degrees, getting down there at 40 to 1. So again, dry your snow as you get colder in temperatures. And well, you can do this yourself at home. You can figure out the snow ratio outside your house right now. What you're going to want to do is get a cup. You're going to go outside and collect some snow. You're going to measure how much snow is in that cup. Let's just say there's seven inches. Some areas up north may have that on the ground. There's seven inches of snow and ice. You then melt it down to see how much water there is. So let's say you melt it down and there's 2.5 inches of water left in that cup after melting the snow and ice. Well, that gets us a snow ratio of 2.8 to one inch. So that's a little bit obviously not what we normally see, but what you could see just outside of your house. And again, there's still more factors that could change that snow ratio. And remember to continue to send in your questions so I can answer them here weekly on WeatherWise. And you can do so by heading over to our website at kxnet.com. Click on weather, then weather wise. And that's 